Donovan Mitchell is regarded as one of the more prolific scorers in today's NBA. He's also a player who at times shows similarities in his arsenal like Dwayne Wade. And even with him being an undersized guard at 6'1", Mitchell's frame is just different, especially with his 6'10 wingspan and a shoe size of size 17 is really what makes him unique. He's a player who has definitely made his presence known, but also knows that he has a lot more to go. This is the Donovan Mitchell story. Donovan Mitchell was born on September 7th, 1996 in Ellsford, New York, with a population of four and a half thousand. Two mother, Nicole Mitchell, and father, Donovan Mitchell Sr. Now his father was a minor league baseball player as a 14th round pick for the Houston Astros. As a kid, Mitchell attended Greenwich County Day School from kindergarten all the way up to the ninth grade, which was the same school that George W. Bush attended. And tuition costed 26,000 a month. But growing up, baseball would be his number one sport, while basketball was his second option. He really wanted to take after his dad's footsteps. He was always hanging around the minor league clubhouses and even went on bus trips with his dad as the team traveled. Mitchell also loved playing the drums and got his first drum set by the age of 10 years old. And that hobby stuck with him because that's something he does to this day. Mitchell went on to attend Canterbury High School in New Milford, Connecticut, and everything was going pretty smooth as he played in a marching band while playing AAU basketball for the Riverside Hawks, and he was a standout pitcher and shortstop on the school's baseball team. But when it came to his athletics, his mother was noticing that he was kind of acting out of character. She saw where he wasn't being that same humble kid and was kind of getting out of his element. She even explained to him saying, God's going to make you recognize that you have to be that same humble kid that you always been. But he chose to not listen. And so a week later, Donovan broke his wrist in a baseball game, causing him to miss out in a whole summer of AAU. Mitchell even stated, I was sad and cried a little bit. It definitely built that hunger back inside of me to focus on basketball. And he would do just that, putting countless hours in the gym. He decided to transfer schools to Brewster Academy in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. And this is where he finished up his junior and senior year of high school. Nobody really knew who he was, nor did he have a national ranking. But there was just one thing that made him stand out. And that was that he was very hungry and was willing to do whatever it took to get recognized and to get that scholarship. He went on to help his team win two consecutive national prep championships. And by now he was somewhat getting the recognition that he deserved. While taking advantage of all the camps and showcases that he was invited to. Especially when it came to him displaying his crazy athleticism as it seemed to become second nature to him. And by the end of his high school career, he worked his way up to becoming a four-star recruit. He would have some big time offers from schools like Louisville, Florida, and Auburn, which led the four-star recruit to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at the University of Louisville. But for his freshman season at Louisville, Donovan struggled and even thought about quitting. As earlier on, his confidence was completely struck. He only shot 25% from three, and the pressure from having to adapt from high school to college at times kinda took a toll on him. He finished his freshman season averaging seven points, two assists, and three rebounds. He would also struggle earlier on in his sophomore season as well, as he was benched versus Indiana in the Pacers arena, which was full of NBA scouts. But the very next morning, Donovan would receive a motivational rare text message from his sister telling him how she believed in him and reminded him on all the positive things that allowed him to get to this point. And Donovan knew that if she was saying all that, then it must have been true, which gave him the boost and the confidence to go from averaging seven points in his freshman season to averaging 16 points during his sophomore year, along with three assists and five rebounds per contest. He shot 46% from the field and 35% from three, while also showing that he could be a solid two-way player. He led Louisville with most minutes played, 
most three-pointers made and steals and made his way to all ACC and all ACC defensive team honors. So after his breakout sophomore season, he decided to enter his name in the 2017 NBA draft and he was selected by the Nuggets with the 13th pick but was then traded to the Jazz later on draft night. But for his rookie season, he averaged 21 points, four rebounds, and four assists per game and became the seventh rookie in franchise history to score 40 plus in a game. And to be honest, not a lot of people saw this coming, especially when he put on a show during the 2018 slam dunk contest and was even able to take home the trophy. Donovan and fellow rookie Ben Simmons were competing for the Rookie of the Year award and Donovan even took some shots at Simmons, trolling him and wearing a shirt that had the true definition of a rookie on it, poking fun on how this was Ben Simmons' second year in the league and how he had missed year one due to injury. But in Mitchell's first playoff experience versus the Thunder, he became the second rookie in NBA history to score 27 plus points in his first two playoff games, with the other being Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He even put up 38 points in a closeout win in game six of the first round, but did end up losing in five games versus the Houston Rockets in the second round. But during the next season, Donovan averaged 24 points, four rebounds, and four assists. But in the playoffs, they did end up losing in five games once again to the Houston Rockets, as Donovan only shot 32% from the field and 25% from three. But during the 2019 NBA offseason, Mitchell officially debuted his first signature shoe called the Don Issue 1. But now during his next season, he managed to become a first-time All-Star and even put up historical numbers in the NBA bubble as he averaged an astonishing 36 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists per game and shot 53% from the field and 52% from the three-point line. But still, it just wasn't enough as they lost to the Denver Nuggets in seven games in the first round. Now, over the next couple of seasons, there was a cycle starting to go around, with the Jazz having an efficient regular season and Donovan even becoming a three-time All-Star. But as a whole, the team just couldn't get it done as they had chance after chance to capitalize, but always seemed to just fall short. And it was clear by now that there was gonna be a lot of change of scenery around the organization. And on September 1st, 2022, Mitchell was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers Donovan Mitchell was a player who throughout his journey was always doubted and under the radar, but with his high character and his winning mindset, that is what allowed him to never miss the playoffs in his NBA career, and furthermore has even allowed him to be a three-time consecutive All-Star all at just the age of 25 years old. And with his arrival in Cleveland, you can best believe that he's going to fit and enhance the culture of the Cleveland Cavaliers. That just goes into, like I said, God is good and you just put the Working, you trust yourself and find a way to take those steps and with that being said ladies and gentlemen this is the donovan mitchell story